Hello and welcome. My name is Oli Walsdorf and I'm a technical marketing engineer for Scale-Out Storage working for the UCS business unit. Today I want to talk about the day two operations for Scale-Out Storage. With an example on MinIO Storage, we're using Cisco Intersight and Terraform to show how you can easily add additional nodes in a MinIO cluster or additional disks or even additional network ports. We're not focusing on installing and deploying the environment, instead we're just focusing in this video on day two operations. So let's get started. Before we start looking at the day two operations, a few words to the whole project. So we have MinIO object storage, which is a lightweight high performance distributed object store and can be deployed in two ways, either Kubernetes native object store or bare metal. We used bare metal and we deployed the whole environment with Cisco Intersight and Terraform provider for Cisco Intersight. In the same way, we use Cisco Intersight and Terraform to do day two operations on MinIO storage. And that's what I'm showing you in the next slides. Here's the environment we used for our day two operations project. We have a six node C240M5 cluster, which we used for MinIO. We have two Nexus switches, and we have an HX deployment where we configured a virtual machine for Intersight and a virtual machine for Terraform. Altogether, it's connected via 25 gigabit Ethernet. The deployment of the whole project is a three-step deployment. In the first step, we deployed Terraform for Cisco Intersight. So we install Terraform, we create Terraform configuration files, we define variables, and we add the Terraform provider for Intersight. Step two of the actual deployment is to create policies, server profiles with Terraform, and apply the server profiles to all four MinIO storage nodes. And finally, we do an install of the operating system on each node, all done with the Terraform. The final step three of the deployment is to install and configure MinIO. One of the ways is very simple in terms of just download it, install it, prepare the disks you want to use for MinIO, export the MinIO root user access and secret key, and then start MinIO. And when you open the console, you can easily configure a bucket where you can write the data into it. The first task of our day two operations is adding additional disks. This is called scale up. With that, we're scaling from eight disks in a node up to 12 disks in a node. So overall in our starting solution with just four nodes, we're scaling from 32 disks up to 48 disks. Because MinIO and most of the scale out storage vendors use JBot disks, there's nothing to do in Intersight or Terraform to recognize that there are more disks in the system. It's just plugging in the disks and the disks are immediately recognized by the system as additional capacity. The only things we have to do is to configure MinIO to add the additional disks. So let's see how that works. So when you adding additional disks, one of the first steps is that you prepare the disk for the MinIO cluster. So in our case, we first did a wipe of all the disks to make sure that the disks are clean. In the next step, we partition the disks and then we create a directory for each of the disks. And because we use a directory in a file system, of course, we have then to create a file system on each of the partitions. So that's what we're doing then in parallel on all four four nodes and all four disks per node. After that, we mount manually all the disks and we write the UUID and the file system link into the ETCFS tab. We check then uh, if the mounts are already there. And after that, we stop the MinIO servers. So after stopping the MinIO servers, one of the next steps is to change the owner of each of the directory to make sure that it's not a root user. Uh, instead, it's a MinIO user. And then we make the new disks available in our start script. And the start script from MinIO is then copied to all servers. And then we start finally the MinIO server again on each of the nodes. And we check then finally if 48 disks are online. And as you can see, 48 drives now online instead of 32. 
So in our next task, we add additional nodes. So what we're doing here is actually a scale out of the MenIO cluster. So we started originally with four nodes, each node eight disks. So we add additional disks. So now each of the four nodes has 12 disks, but now we add two additional nodes to have a six node cluster. One thing to mention here, usually an expansion of a MenIO cluster should have at least four nodes. In our environment, we only had two nodes so this is just a demonstration how it works. I will show you in that task how you can do that with just Cisco InterSight on the one hand, and on the other hand, how you could do that with Terraform. In Cisco InterSight, you would first clone the profiles, which means you go to profile on the right side, you click on clone, then you add all the detailed information you need, like the name of the profiles, and then you actually clone the profiles. And as you can see here, now we have two new profiles which are right now not deployed. So on the next step, what you do is then you deploy the profiles actually to the specific node. After deploying the profiles, the next step is then we go to software repository and create a new software repository for each new node. And in that software repository, we add all the information, where is the ISO image, where, where we can install the operating system on the specific node. So you would do that for both new nodes here and enter all the detailed information like what OS and so on. And the final step is then, when you created the software repository for each node, the final step is then to install the operating system with Cisco InterSight. So you would go to the server button, you would look for your server, you would then on the right side, click on install operating system, add the specific information, and then click finally on install and it starts. Now with Terraform, the process is very similar. You would add in the variables file, the additional ISOs fi uh, files, the locations for the ISOs and the two additional nodes. And then you would start creating the policies and profiles in the same way you did before. Now, here in this process, you wouldn't clone actually a profile, you would add the additional policies. And as you can see, the current policies would also be changed here. Then you would deploy the profiles. And as you can see, only the two new profiles would be added and deployed. And finally, in the last step, similar to what you have seen in Cisco InterSight, you would install the operating system. So after that, we can start working then with the MinIO tools to add the additional nodes to the MinIO cluster. And here in that case, you would of course change again the script we used for starting MinIO on each server. So we would add the additional nodes with the disks. We skipped in the whole process here, the preparation of all the disks because we already saw that. And then we would start the MinIO cluster again. And as you can see, finally, we have now 72 disks and six servers online. So the last step I wanna show you for day two operations is at adding additional network interfaces. So sometimes when you add more disks, you would need more bandwidth. And to achieve that, you can add more lines to your VIC interface. So in our case, what we did in the beginning when we deployed the overall solution, we have one line up to each nexus and created a VPC. And on the OS side, we added or we created a teaming interface, so which gives us already two times 25 gigabit per second. Now, if you add more lines, the beauty of the WIC is that hardware port channel is enabled by default. So that means that port one and port two of the VIC has already a port channel and port three and four as well. So with that configured already, you do not have to do anything on the OS side, on the Cisco Inter side, uh, side or even on the main IO side. So you already benefit from the additional bandwidth here. Thank you for watching this demo. This was a demo about day two operations with Cisco InterSight and Terraform on MinIO object storage.